We're going to play a piece of video here. This is Macklemore, whose new song, Heinz Hall, uh, is going to be out for streaming pretty soon. When it is released, all proceeds from that song will be donated to UNRWA. Here is Macklemore on stage at a recent concert uh, monologuing a bit about his commitment to speaking out on these issues. I lost on me the privilege that it is to be able to perform right now. To be able to go to a concert out in public and not have to be afraid. <laughs> to go to a concert, period. You know, I get all sorts of comments like, shut up, rap, we don't want to hear you. It's not the artist's way, just, just keep performing. No, no, no. Art, in its purest form, is resistance. Art in its purest form is from the heart and it connects with people. It brings people together. And the day that I stop following my heart and talking about things in the world that matter is the day that I don't need to be on stage anymore. And today is not that day. I stand up in here in solidarity. I stand up in here for a free Palestine. I stand here today with the message of liberation and freedom and equality for all human beings. Not our differences, our similarities. And I look at what's happening right now in the world and my heart breaks and I can't help but look at my own kids, look at my own kids and my own family and think if I was in Palestine right now, if I was in Gaza right now, if I was in Rafa right now, what would I want the rest of the world to be doing? I would want them to say free Palestine. Liberation for all, equality for all. That's always been the message. Don't get it twisted. It has always been the message. It will always be the message. The message is love. Great stuff. And, you know, he says in the song, you know, if I had a label, they could drop me right now. You know, we're going to play some video tomorrow from a college kid from the University of Chicago saying, you know, look, if this costs us our career, so be it. Um, you know, when you're an artist and you're uh, an artist who has a following like, like he does, um, ultimately, you you have to trust your audience and you fall back on the audience. And that, that's what makes it so cowardly that more people are not speaking out because, you know, yes, you're going to lose a lot of your contacts. You're going to lose, you know, your management company. You know, Susan Sarandon got dropped by her agency, right? right? right. Um, but in today's media world if you have an audience that cares about you and what you have to say and they know that you're going to go to bat for what you have to say they'll have your back i mean we know this and we have a relatively small audience compared to all these people right we're talking about you know maclebor right um and so you ultimately just have to trust the people who support you and they will and um, ultimately, you'll be all right, I think, if you just have that trust and you you act with sincerity and conviction. And um, it, it's inspiring to see an artist just kind of put it on the line like that. Yes, and I it it, it is it is uh, it is a beacon of light in a sea of cowardice. Yes. And um, I hope it does inspire others. And I, I'm hopeful. I think it will. I, I think there as Gen Z comes of age, you're going to see more and more of this. I think the old industry is dying and yes. something new is ready to be born in its place. Yeah. I mean, this is the good thing about social media and the Internet. Like anybody can create a platform for themselves. And if you're a guy like Macklemore, you have two million followers on X. You have right. a two million follower head right. start. Right. And God knows what he's got on Instagram. He's probably got even more. 
right? Right. Like, you, as you long as you have you that connection to the people, you don't need the middleman. You don't need the agencies. You don't need the studios. You don't need the record companies. People make albums on their laptops now that sound just as good as the albums they record at Capitol Records in L.A. Like, you don't need any of that shit now. You just need a forum to get to the people. This is why the social media censorship is so dangerous, and this is why before October 7th, that was kind of our main beat. Because once they right. shut that down, now you got a big problem. But as long as those uh, forums exist, and uh, you know, this is why it's also important to empower platforms like Rumble, where we are now, Substack, right? You need free speech forums that won't shut you down for saying the wrong thing or putting out the wrong song, right? Um, as long as that infrastructure is there, you can take these kinds of chances and know that you'll be all right, no matter what. Yeah, that was that was something else um, that really bothered me at, uh, as we're calling it, the Dissident Douchebags Festival. OK, so you've got Michael Schellenberger there. Um, he has done some great reporting on how the intelligence agencies around the world are trying to shut down speech. Why do you only want him to talk about the WPATH files? Why do you want him only to, which, you know, we covered it. It's not that I'm against throwing a spotlight onto that, but why not have a panel about that? Like you've got Schellenberger, you're in Matt Taibbi's town. Why didn't you ask him? I'm right. sure he would have done it. There's no doubt in my mind that Matt Taibbi would have done that festival. And oh, put together, sure. he already has a slideshow lecture that he was, unlike the people here, not grifting off of going and doing for free to right. try to convert people who are libs over to realizing how dangerous the movement towards shutting down speech are. I think that the biggest danger we do face is that they get control of the Internet so that this cannot blossom. However, on the bright side, to leave it on a positive note. I think that's going to be almost impossible because you're going to have countries that decide to have a free Internet. And then right. you're just going to wind up making everybody go and use those servers. Yes, I think that's true, too. Yes, indeed. Please clap. <laughs>